Hello and welcome to another Planet Destiny exotic weapon review. My name is Patrick Casey, otherwise known as Holtzman, and today I bring you the long, long awaited review of the Vex Mytho class. The Vex Mytho class is a primary fusion rifle that is just truly unique. The only way to attain this weapon is to defeat Atheon, the final boss on the Vault of Glass, on the level 30 difficulty specifically. While it's classified as a fusion rifle, it has more properties of an auto rifle. It works mainly in the mid-range fights with heavy damage falloff once you enter long-range encounters. The new starting damage for this rifle is 279 instead of the normal 274 for other exotics. It gets up to 323 attack, the highest stat of any weapon in the game. Getting the max rank will require an exotic shard, so you'll have to sacrifice another exotic to make this thing you know, as best as possible. No Ascendant energies will be required though to maximize it. Let's get into some of the good things. With the new updates, this thing hits like a truck and will keep hitting enemies hard due to the crowd control perk that increases damage after a kill. The other two perks that increase magazine size and range and accuracy allow for some customization. Really, I just find myself trading those off in PvP and PvE. Headshot damage is key with this weapon. While you can use it like a normal fusion rifle due to its high hip fire accuracy and still mow through enemies, you'll be rewarded much more with very quick kills if you land precision shots. The weapon really excels in PvE over PvP. The increased attack of 323 when fully upgraded makes it pack just such a huge punch in the raid and during story missions. I believe the actual increased damage is somewhere around 15% from what it once was. The baseline muzzle perk is just abysmal to use. It makes the recoil simply too jarring to land precision shots. The second perk, Linear Compensator, will help a little bit more, and it'll bring it a little bit more into line. It won't be as much up, it'll still have some side-to-side -side recoil though. The third choice is the one I generally recommend though, since it allows for greater control due to its massive stability increase. You lose a bit of impact and range, but I feel that this perk's benefits just greatly outweigh the downsides as you need to be hitting headshots to really make this thing sing. In PvE, this weapon will take out a tier 1 enemy in about 2-3 to three headshots, and only 2 headshots if it's directly after another kill due to the crowd control perk. A tier 2 enemy will take around 8 to 10 headshots and about 7 to 8 if crowd control is active. In PvP, this gun will deal 27 body damage and 41 headshot damage. If the crowd control perk is active though, it will deal 31 damaged body shots and 47 damage headshots. Now we get into some of the bad things. The reserve ammo is just alarmingly low on this weapon. You only have about 210 rounds total and it doesn't really affect you that much in patrols, but in a strike or a raid where this weapon's supposed to be the best, you find yourself scrambling for ammo a lot. The range of the weapon, even when upgraded with Syndit, is still just very low because it's a fusion rifle. You end up using like half a clip to kill something that's at the tail end of medium range. In PvP, this weapon really starts to show that it was designed for PvE. It takes about 4 to 5 headshots to down someone, which is pretty easy to do if they're in that perfect medium range. But in reality, the recoil at every other range will just cause you to miss a lot of shots, and it'll take you around 8 shots or so to take someone out, even if your aim's true. It just doesn't feel very rewarding to use unless you can like get in that perfect mid-range to just chain headshots and give you the lowest time to kill. Cosmetic wise, the Vex Mytho class really reminds me of some like sleek 1950s style sports car. It has all these curves and it just draws your eye all over the weapon. Scope is also really open, very easy to use. You can see stuff really easily. It has these two rings on it that rotate based on if you look up or down or left or right. The sound is also very, very identifiable. It sounds like a fusion rifle, but only if instead of bursts, it fired just one round. In conclusion, the Vex Mytho class is kind of something of an oddity. Bungie has stated that they want it to be the best weapon in the game for PvE. The low ammo reserve and range just don't make for an enjoyable experience. 
and this is coming from someone who usually uses a scout rifle or hand cannon in PvE. You really have to conserve your ammo or start building your armor around this one particular weapon. While it's extremely fun to use, it really only feels like a side grade to some of the other legendary weapons out there. When it all comes down to it, go ahead and level this weapon up. It's very fun to use. However, getting that last damage upgrade, I'd probably wouldn't do it truthfully. I'd save your shard for something else. Let's take a look at some of the upgrades here for Vex Mythoclass. We have Timeless Mythoclass. This weapon has no charge time. It fires a single bolt with each trigger pull, and it also does solar damage for a primary. The first thing you're going to have here is aggressive ballistics, more predictable recoil, enhanced impact, shorter range, and more recoil. Right up next is Linear Compensator, more predictable recoil, slight boost to range and impact, and more recoil. Personally, I really like going for just Smart Drift Control, because these other two don't give you that much of a boost to range or impact, and maximizing the stability on this gun will just lead to a much better experience. The next upgrade you'll get is Zen Moment. Causing damage with this weapon increases its stability. You know, this is something that you absolutely have to get to even use this weapon, in my opinion, otherwise the recoil is just... It's a little too jarring to always hit precision shots and make the most of the low ammo. Then we have our first damage upgrade. Then we have our extended mag here. It increases the magazine size to 35. Uh, this is the one that I prefer to use for PvP just so I can have a few more rounds in the magazine as kind of a, you know, oh crap button. For PvE, I like to go ahead and go and use Send It here. It upgrades the range a pretty decent amount, and then it also upgrades the accuracy. I find that helps it a lot more in PvE than it does in PvP. And then we have Lightweight. When held, this weapon grants plus two character agility. I'm not a huge fan of that on this weapon, as the Send It and Extended Mag perks bring so much to the table, whereas this is just kind of meh compared to those. Then we have the crowd control perk. Kills with this weapon grant bonus damage for a short time. This little perk makes this weapon come into its own in PvP. Due to its 323 attack plus this, you start hitting things really, really hard. In the Vault of Glass, you'll just start mowing through those goblins. Really great little perk makes doing bounties, daily things much easier as well. And then we have our four damage upgrades. These don't take Ascendant materials anymore. The last one will take that new exotic shard, though. This has been Patrick Casey with Planet Destiny, your guide to the Destiny universe. Thank you.